Tim, you're the, the numbers guy at Team Sky. How much does science impact on performance in cycling? Does it make such a big difference? Uh, yeah, a key part of our performance planning process is that we, you know, we start by analysing the demands of the event. So, you know, we do that in a variety of ways, but um, both qualitatively and quantitatively. So, for say, for example, for determining what physical capabilities are required to uh, to meet the demands of a of a specific event or a specific stage on an event, we'll have a look at you know, the power required, the power power to weight ratios. Uh, the duration that that power um, needs to be sustained for, um, and then once we establish what what, um, what 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 the requirements of the event are, we'll then look at um, analysing the capabilities of our riders and uh, identifying areas where there's a need to uh, to improve the capabilities of our riders through targeted training programs um, so that they can meet the demands of the event. And is the human aspect still very important? The coaching side, the relationship side with, with the riders? How much? Yeah, absolutely. The numbers help inform our decisions. So, you know, d as a coaching group, we have to make decisions about, you know, what's the best thing to do with which riders, when to do it. Uh, and the numbers help us make those decisions. But at Team Sky, we're, we're much more about you know, our riders building building the team, building a group of riders, creating a culture where, um, you know, where, where the guys are, are happy, they, they believe in what what's happening here, you know, this training camp here in Mallorca. Um, we're all out, all out on the climbs doing similar sort of training, uh, feeding, the guys are feeding off each other and, and we're building a real strong performance culture within the team where the riders just go from strength to strength. Dave Brailsford's famous for his phrase, marginal gains. What, what's the next marginal gain? What, what can it be found? Uh, to be honest, with, at Team Sky we've um, We've, over the last three years, we really recognised the need to uh, to simplify what we what we've been doing. Get go back to basics. Look at the areas where we get the, the the big gains. Make sure we're addressing those areas first, and then uh, and so that's what we've done over the last couple of years. It's been very successful for us. We're always looking at how we can refine things and do things better. But our priority for 2013 is to scale up what we've done over the last two years. Um, last year we focused heavily on developing a, you know, a strong group building towards the Tour de France. This year we're looking at scaling that up so we're having a greater impact with a greater number of riders and um, taking on some, some more challenges including a, a project uh, building towards the Cobble Classics as well as a project building towards the Giro and of course not neglecting the Tour de France. You know, the riders receptive to all the science? Do they do they buy into it? Do they get involved? Do they like the numbers? Yeah, absolutely. I think I think w once there's evidence that the, the way we operate uh, is effective and and genuinely does uh, help improve performance, uh, the riders and the riders understand. You know, if they understand what they're doing, why they're doing it, and how it relates to bike racing and how it relates to their own personal ambitions as well as the you know, the, the, the goals and ambitions of the team, mm -hmm. then. Um, you know that they really do buy and everyone responds to information in different ways some people respond to numbers better than others some people re respond to pictures or graphs uh, better than others so we we identify you know the best way to work with each of our riders and tailor our our programs and our our plans as well as the delivery of them uh, to each individual rider but we had an amazing year last year can you repeat that can you do even better and can you do the Giro into a double part even uh, well, f for now we're focusing on, on the Giro, so Brad's, Brad's program from now is, is building towards performance at the Giro d'Italia. After that he'll transition into the Tour de France team and we'll, we'll aim to get him in the best possible condition to do his job at the Tour de France. We know that Bradley, in, in, in the best possible condition, obviously he won the Tour de France last year, so he will be very strong. Uh, if all goes to plan by the time we get to the Tour de France. But we have another very strong guy there in, in Chris Froome. And as a team, we'll, uh, as we did this year, before we get to the Tour de France, we'll, we'll make a call as to what we believe is um, the, the best chance of, of Team Sky winning the Tour de France. And I suppose the science will help you make that, that choice. Yeah, again, again, the information we have, it, not all numbers, but all the information we have goes into the, into the mix in terms of helping to inform some of those hard decisions that we have to make. Cycling's been hit by lots of doping scandals. I know, I think you, 
Team Sky use power touch to monitor riders, riders and understand performance. I mean, people want to know: is cycling cleaner now? Is it is it more credible now? Do you think? Uh, it, we believe it is. I mean, we 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 certainly. Um, an object objective of ours is to not only to be to to be perceived as a clean team ourselves um, by opening the doors, showing people um, what it is that we do, what the processes are behind developing our performances. Um, you now we understand that that, um, that that the cycling public, the fans, trust has been betrayed time and time again. Now more than ever after you know, the re revelations over the last six months. Um, so we recognise that we have to earn the trust of the public um, and through the media we open the doors um, to show this is the, these are the processes we go through um, and, uh, and, and we, we want to not only, um, it's important to us that obviously that we're clean but also that the sport's clean because in our ambition to be the world's most admired sports team it's essential that the sport we're competing in is perceived to be credible.